Good morning, friends. It's a Bins Day. I don't know why I'm whispering. I <laughs> I assume it's because it's 8 in the morning. Petey's still sleeping, but he's in the house. It just feels early out here. Like, it's a Saturday morning. No one's out. My neighborhood just feels like super quiet. Makes me feel like I'm this hardcore thrifter leaving in the middle of the night to go thrift. <laughs> I'm going to the Goodwill Outlet Bins, where I pay $3.49 per pound for clothing that I resell on eBay and Poshmark. So I'm going to take you with me. Cross your fingers that it is a good bins day, because the last two were epic. Epic! And it was half off. Did I go since then? I might have gone once since the half off, and it was really good. So, um... I know you guys want to see some great brands that sell well online, so I hope you learn that here with me today, and let's get going. I'm at the bins. Where the heck is everybody? <laughs> it's like a ghost town. I'm driving through town. It's 8.30 on a Saturday morning. I'm like, where is everybody? It is a little bit overcast gloomy, so maybe everybody is sleeping in today, but not me. Oops. <laughs> anyway, I got cut off. <laughs> not me. I'm up and out and ready to thrift. Okay, I'm here 18 minutes early, so I'll sit in my car with my delicious heated seats and I'll wait to get in line and um, hope, hoping for a good day. This is how quiet my bins are, like there's on a Saturday. I might get busy a little bit later, but everyone's always saying that my bins look pretty chill and they do. I mean, they used to be crazy, but not anymore. I think I'll do a little bit of sorting I don't know what's happening over there. There's a dog or something visiting. <laughs> I'm going to put my maybe pile here in the little seat, and then I'm going to sort what I'm taking into these bags. Um, and if I put stuff back, let me show you what I put back, because that's educational, right? All right, the theme of the day is definitely jackets and wool jackets. This is gorgeous, a 100% camel color wool jackets j crew but it's a zero it's black label j crew he's never go out of style these camel colored trenches and it's in such good shape 349 a pound though let's see i think this weighs two pounds so that would be like seven dollars I'm, I'm gonna get that because it's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and there's some other wool jackets in here i'm gonna put these back made well jeans remember when these would be an amazing score they're a good size 27, but they're the nine high-rise skinny. They have the exposed button fly. The skinnies just don't sell well for me anymore, so. All right, I'm going to continue sorting. Maybe pile, taking pile, I need to sort pile. Hey friends, and welcome to the haul portion of the video. A nice, big, great, solid Goodwill Outlet bins haul. If you've seen my videos before, you know I usually throw some more clips of reseller life or bins clips into the video and stay to the end to see the bloopers. Make sure you're subscribed and let's get into this. I'll be honest with you, I have three big bags sitting here. This is from Saturday and today is Tuesday or Wednesday. So it's been a little bit since I've even looked at this haul. I can't remember exactly what I got. So it should be more fun for both of us. But look at this cool thing I got. I love the bins for stuff like this. This is some sort of canvas flexible hamper. So I just put my stuff in that and checked out. So I, I love stuff like that. Let's start with one of the best finds of the day for no other reason than cuteness. It is a canvas sloth bag. <laughs> In my other job, I work with um, kids and teens. I'm a psychotherapist, and I don't know what it is, but they all love sloths. There's something about the sloth. Um, oh, this is from World Market. Somebody needs a cute little sloth bag in their life. Here we go. We're going to start with, oh, I love this. I will not try it on. I will sell it. <laughs> it kind of looks like what I have on. This is Pilcro, which is a brand sold at Anthropology. This is a newer piece because it just says Pilcro, not Pilcro in the letter press. This is an oversized thermal top with an asymmetrical hem, kind of a great um, sage green color. Love it. Wow, I'm starting off good. <laughs> this is a Lululemon top. Oh, this is interesting. I want to see what you guys think about this. I'm seeing something I've never seen before. 
So here's the Lulu lo logo. This was rolled up in a ball on the bottom of a bin. And I recognize this fabric. If you're a Lulu lover like me, you'll know that this is their singlet top, which was very popular a number of years ago. Um, it is just the style where it's really kind of low cut all around and you put a sports bra under. Now, have you guys ever seen this? Here's the logo and then look on the hem. There's like another piece of a logo. Is that a defect? I know this is a Lululemon top. I, o I owned this top in a couple colors, so I've never seen that. That's kind of fun. This feels like cashmere. Yes. I really like this piece. The brand is Saint Tropez West, 100% two ply cashmere size medium. This is so, 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 so soft. And I like the style on this. It is like a longer tunic length sweater. And then it's got these side slits. I bet this is like really flattering on, you know, you could put your high waisted jeans under or um, a little turtleneck underneath. Now, when you buy cashmere, check extra carefully for holes because it gets holes so easily. This feels amazing. Are you a cashmere lover? I live in Northern California and I really, Northern California is not Southern California. Southern California is what people think of with California, like it's warm all the time and you're on the beach. No, we get regular seasons and everything. We don't get snow, but it gets cold, but never quite cold enough to me to feel like I'm gonna wear a big sweater. I'll layer like cardigans on stuff, but I don't know why I'm telling you this. Do you need to understand my, <laughs> my relationship with sweaters? Okay, the theme of this day was jackets and wool jackets. I don't know if they just did a sweep through the Goodwill stores and said, let's get rid of all these wool jackets. Or, I mean, there were so many jackets. This is a vintage one, I know, because that's a vintage Liz Claiborne tag. But this is a wool blazer, and I just love it. Blue plaid with the classic gold buttons. My guess is that this is probably like a 90s. And it is 52% wool, polyester, and then 5% other stuff. <laughs> it actually says other stuff, dry clean only. Now, one of the things that's trending right now, I'm filming this in September or fall of 2023, and um, a big oversized blazer is very trending. What's this? Oh, I looked this up in the store. Um... The brand is Eaton, I believe, E-T-O-N. And this just felt like good quality. This is a men's button-down shirt. Now, I pass on men's button-down shirts a lot simply because I don't like listing them for some reason. Steaming them, putting them on the hanger, I just don't enjoy it. So I don't love getting these shirts, but I checked comps and for a pre-owned shirt, Size large, I can get $25 for this. So I said, Quemby, I know it's not your favorite, but get the men's shirt. Because at the bins, to pay, you know, $1.75 for that to $25, that works for me. This is one of my better flights. It's so good. Please let there not be flaws. I'm often talking to you on my channel, in my hauls, about why I make business decisions, like what to buy and things like that. And I know a lot of you are experienced resellers and you don't necessarily need that, but I've got a ton of new resellers. So I'm always trying to like let you in on what I'm thinking after selling for 12 years with making purchases. And I love to listen to other people do that too. I'm always learning. So the reason I bought this is number one for brand. It's an amazing brand, Eileen Fisher. Very expensive brand. It's also an extra large, so a great size. It's also... 100% wool jacket. What? I recently found a size medium Eileen Fisher black trench coat. This one has exposed seams. It's red and gray. It's 100% wool. I don't see any issues, and I'm really hoping I don't. It's got pockets. Um, I listed that size medium trench coat for, I think, $100 plus like $13.49 shipping. And I'm, I have to check comps, but I'm imagining I can get, I have no idea, I haven't checked comps, but my guess is 75 or something. 
but I don't know. I have to look it up. This I took a risk on and I love learning and the comps on this thing actually look to be like $40, $45. This is a vintage, vintage JC Penny tag. Look at this. I will look, I will Google vintage JC Penny tags and there's probably somebody who's compiled a photograph of, of JC Penny tags over the years and then I can figure out what the date is on this thing. I'm thinking 50s or 60s. A long pink satin lace trim nightgown robe sort of thing. Okay, well this looks good. This looks like good fabric. Oh, I looked this up. Okay, so this is my exact experience at the bins. I'm like, this feels like good fabric. This looks like an interesting tag. So this leads me on a little bit of a conversation with you. This says, or slow, since 2005, denim product products made in Japan. And then it's got a size five. So my brain starts going, interesting. Interesting tag, really nice feeling fabric. I think this is linen. And then my brain says, Quimby, you have sold a lot of men's clothing made in Japan, mostly jeans. If you see a pair of jeans, men's jeans, that say made in Japan or designed in Japan, look it up because some of my all time best flips, I'm talking like $250 for a pair of jeans have been made in Japan. So I have more research to do on this. It's got some really cool details on it, so. Oh, <laughs> yes, I've been buying a lot more vintage since shopping at the bins. It's it's inexpensive at $3.49 a pound, so I can take some risks. And actually, you guys, the vintage single stitch t-shirts that I'm picking up, I've sold them for like $20, but still for a pre-owned t-shirt, that's good. And it's fun for me to learn. So what I say, in case you're new, this is a t-shirt. It's not single stitch. I'll show it to you in case anyone's new. I just thought this was such a cool graphic. This is rag tops made in the USA. So it probably is vintage, but it's not so vintage that it has a single stitch. So in case you're new, really quick, you can look at the sleeve of a t-shirt. You'll see that this one has two rows of stitches. Vintage t-shirts, I don't know exactly what year they switched, but uh, maybe the 90s or something. Vintage t-shirts are sewn with just one stitch here. And you can put that in your title, single stitch t-shirt, okay? This is an amazing find. I wish it were a different size, but I still feel pretty confident with it. This is a J. Crew The Regent trench coat wool. This is just such a classic, gorgeous item. A camel colored trench coat is a classic staple piece for most people's wardrobe. It doesn't go out of style. It's just gorgeous. This is wool, it's a size zero though, but it's in, it's in gorgeous condition. Um, the J. Crew black label. So the only reason I say that about the size is because smaller sizes, it just takes a little bit longer to sell. And, um, but I think that was a, a good pickup. What's this animal printy thing? Oh, this is Torrid. Torrid is a mall brand that sells plus size. It's a size three, so it's a 3X, and it's a thermal animal print. So I think that's a good pickup for this time of year. Please take a moment to make sure you've hit that thumbs up button to like the video and be sure you're subscribed. I feel like I'm hanging out with you guys. Like in my mind, because I've met some of you, I've talked to you in the comments, I feel like we're hanging out. Like, <laughs> but really, I guess I'm just alone in my living room talking about clothes I thrifted, but in my mind, I'm hanging out with you guys. This is a great men's and women's brands. It's Ariat. Ariat, best known for their Western boots, but it's like Western workwear. This is a men's size large button down shirt. That brand has a following. OMG, I had to get this. <laughs> now, People wore these like in the 80s and 90s. We called them fanny packs or hip packs. Now, currently, 
in the past couple of years, there's been this resurgence and people call it a belt bag or something. But this is a vintage one, a leather vintage fanny pack. I bet you there is a market for this. I don't even see a brand. It's in pretty darn good shape. Um, but I think I can just list it as like vintage 90s leather dad dad type hip pack. Ooh, look at the print on that. That's cool. I like this, whatever it is. Ooh, these are free people jeans in a size 28. Jeans aren't what do best for me in the brand, unless they're like super crazy flares or or like a, a special a special pair. These are straighter skinny leg, but they have a cool print. So that might help me get like $20, 25 plus shipping. This is another free people item and it's a good one. I wish it was my size, but it's a small. Yet another free people tag. The bar says free people, has this little hang tag. This is a size small. And uh, this is a denim jacket, a cropped denim distressed jacket, but it's got sweatshirt sleeves and a hood. Um, it's all distressed. So I got to run this through the wash. Um, when you're there and you're like doing your quality control, I know we all look for holes and stains. We look for, is there a missing button? Is the zipper broken? But also if you think of it, look on the hems of the cuff. Cause that's often a spot I notice where I'm like, Oh, I didn't even notice that. And now I have to like stain treat the cuffs on things. And you know, I'll do it for that jacket. Cause hopefully I can get maybe $35 for it or something, but we want to minimize all that uh, stain treating. Oh, another thing for my baby nephew. This is a Burt's Bees organic little, smells like patchouli. <laughs> That's going in the wash pile too. Oh, so of course that little organic baby jumper smells like patchouli. Ooh, now this is another this is where not wearing gloves at the bins pays off. And this is where after years and years of thrifting, most of us can like feel quality or good material. This is a black t-shirt and I kept, I'm like, oh, I looked at it, it doesn't say anything. I kept coming back to it though. I'm like, God, that t-shirt feels, it feels like Lulu. I can't find the Lulu. Then of course I find, and now I have to try and find it again. I don't know why Lulu does this the black on black. So there's the Lulu symbol. And when it has a box around the Lulu symbol like that, can you even see that? Probably not. There it is. The box means it's men's. So this is a men's t-shirt. Um, I've been getting like 25 bucks for the men's t-shirts. I used to be able to get like 35 bucks. It's just such good feeling fabric. One Ikea bag down, friend. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, this is so amazing. It's just gonna be way too expensive at the bands. This is all wooden stamps, rubber stamps. They're really nice ones, and they're all like themed. There's like birthday, Christmas, but by weight, this just wouldn't make any sense for me to buy, so I just picked out a few, but gosh, they're so good. That's so good. Let's go do our first cart check-in. I have some like totally random stuff here, you guys, but um, I think it's a pretty good start, all things considered. For some reason, there's like a lot of, um, I know, I know the hip pack looks bad, but whatever. For some reason, there's like a lot of wool jackets. Like I found an Eileen Fisher one, I think. Some cards for myself. Oh my god, look at this vintage hip pack. I have to. I mean, I've got like the cool new hip pack, but this is like a vintage leather one. This is like a dad hip pack. So cool. I'm gonna look these up because these look vintage. Um, 1995. No idea. These are a few of the stamps I picked out. This is my hard goods. <laughs> But I think there's some decent stuff in here. Some Torrid, some free people, but not a bad little morning start. Okay, you guys know I go on and on about bras at the bins. I have sold so many bras. This is a Victoria's Secret, but look, there's no size. So someone cut it out. So I am really starting to check that because 
a bra with no size is impossible. Okay, it looks like they're starting to um, get ready for the next rotation, so I'm gonna get rid of that pile. All right, it is still a very, very quiet day at the bins. Last time I was here on a Saturday, it got kind of crazy, so I'm putting these back. It looks like the set of 1995 Pelags Bowl sells for like 15, so it's just not worth it for me to store it and, you know, do all that. I had to show you this though. Like, come on. Everyone needs a canvas sloth bag. <laughs> Sometimes there are things you just like can't resist. I'm sorting through this big pile, which is going to be a pain, but I'm gonna do it. And I have to show you this bins flip really quick because it's just such a cool flip. This is a Victoria's Secret um, large 100% silk satin chiffon slip. This sold for $43.99 with flaws plus shipping. So their total was $52.99. It was gorgeous. It's a long gown, but it had some subtle staining on it. I did hand wash it, but it didn't come out. It was pretty gorgeous. And I thought this was maybe going to be like another $19.99 flip. But when I went to list it, I saw people had it listed really high. So I had it on there with best offer and someone bought it. So, and this probably weighs four ounces you guys so such a great men's flip i'm so grateful hey friends it's sunday night i'm doing my shipping i thought i'd show you some things that have sold from the bins just following back with you this i like to talk about this because this is the brand cold water creep creep <laughs> this is the brand cold water creek not like an amazing brand it's sort of a mature women's brand but it was a new without tags 2x plus size jacket, a red button front. It sold for $34.99 plus the buyer paid for shipping. So their total was $47.72 for a Cold Water Creek jacket. So you can make money on some of these, you know, mature, mature women's department store mall brands. And I got it at the bins um, for a few dollars. And I also wanted to talk, report back on bras. I sold four bras this weekend. All of them are from The Bins. This is a Soma bra, 38D Unbelievable Lift Coverage. This one sold for $17, plus $5.99 shipping. This is a Victoria's Secret 38C Lined Perfect Coverage bra, sold for $15, plus $5.99 shipping, and I have two more. And um, if they have padding... And wire, I put them in a box. That's why I charge $5.99 shipping. But these are so light. So I'm getting them so cheap at the vans. If you're at a thrift store, they often don't mark up. Bras very expensive. So if you can get them cheap, flip them between, you know, $15 to $25, depending on the brand and size. I like them to be very clean. I like them to be a recognizable brand and larger sizes do better. So just to show you, this is like a recycled Amazon box. I save these boxes um, and I put the bra right in here so that it's not going to get all smushed like the padded cups. And it'll still be light, so it'll still just cost me 4 or $5 to ship it out. Okay, so here is my finished shipping. Sometimes I wonder why I leave this until Sunday night because I'm always like, tired and wishing it would be over <laughs> like i'm so grateful for all the sales absolutely but it's a lot um well it takes a long time to pull and print labels and do all the shipping so <laughs> how do you think we're doing with this haul i'm still just so grateful and appreciative that the bins is open i mean Three years it was closed and I was just going to regular thrift stores and I was on a mission to find cheaper thrift stores. I had already started boycotting Goodwill because my prices here are crazy and they don't do any color tag sales. They don't do any 50% off. They don't do any 99 cent day, zero. When I say that people don't believe me, but I'm telling you they have zero sales. I think my mom has a senior day but they don't do any color tags, nothing. And I was coming from the color tag is 50% off and then what it used to be is on Sunday, anything left with that color tag was 99 cents. But then they, they reopened the bins. They decided to make it the most expensive bins in the country that I'm aware of at 349, but still, <laughs> still grateful. This is a poncho by Ann Taylor. 
it's, you know, we've been having these poncho discussions because do you guys remember that cashmere poncho I got? And it only had one sleeve. And then all of us were trying to figure out why does it have one sleeve and the rest was all closed. One of my viewers was like, oh, is it for an amputee? I'm like, no, it's just a style. <laughs> you have like one sleeve and then you bunch it up and like the other arm can come out. Anyway, this is one of these ones that lays on like this. So it's like a blanket poncho. That's kind of nice, right? And it's got a fringe. Perfect for your pumpkin patch photos this year. That's just acrylic or something, but I got these Nikes because I think they're so cool. I admittedly do not know what's cool in Nike. I don't know what people are looking for. I don't understand all their stuff, but these are extra, extra large. And I just really like the style. They're like a pull on wide leg pants. And they've got the Nike swoosh embroidered there. I just thought these are so cool. Now I have to figure out are they men's or women's. I'll put my hand in the pocket. Super deep pocket, so probably men's. This is a tight fitted elastic top. Reminds me of a Lululemon top. And then it's got a low back, and I believe this one was Anthropology. Yeah, Anthropology size large. Just Anthropology as the brand. Anthropology, I love that it's a size large, and it's like a fitted gray elastic top. Ooh, this is a good item. Patagonia at the Binzi. Never get over that. Size large men's. This is like a check gingham type print it has roll tab sleeves it's got these zippery pockets so i don't know it's vented so maybe this is for like fishing or something um organic cotton so that's good oh women's women's large all right cool really happy with that look at the print on this i'm a little confused about this dress but isn't that a cool print and colors Guess what brand you think it is? The brand is Tommy Bahama. It's a women's size XL. And I'm like, wow, that's a cool brand. And it's a good size. And I love the print. The only thing I don't understand is these. So it's like, it'll go over your shoulder. And then there's a little clasp here. But I just don't know. Like, this is going to go right underneath your chest. So I guess it's like an empire waist. I don't know. I couldn't decide about that part, so I said, well, let's just get them. I am in love with these, okay? I love sweater knit pants. Like a pull-on elastic waist, sweater knit with a wide leg or something. I just love sweater knit pants. And these are sweater knit pants. Wide leg, they're Chico's. Size two, which is a large. I love those sweater knit pants. As people say, I am here for it. I'm here. I'm here for it for the sweater knit pants. If I said that, my son would be rolling his eyes right now. My 12 year old son, who some of you have known for a few years now, so you've really seen the change. <laughs> he was a little elementary kid and now he's a middle schooler. And he's going through the phase of, mom, not in a disrespectful way. I'm not, I'm not like gonna put up with him being extremely disrespectful. I would address it if he was. Oh my God, I'm going on about this. Stop. <laughs> um, this is a new with tags edition by Chico size three. So that's an XL apparel, matty cardigan, white edition by Chico's new with tag long black and white cardigan duster type thing on me. It goes down to my knees. So a nice big good size sweater sweater this is going on and on oh this is for my son he's really picky about what he wears he loves all that silky athletic fabric this is a great brand to know i find it all the time it's cut loose it's a it's designed in san francisco it's a catalog brand it's very expensive i think they sell to boutiques and stuff but this is a beige linen top with a nice button Ooh, what's this the print on this is amazing Look at this. Look at this boho, ethnic-y looking print. Yes, it doesn't get better. Ooh, it's a dress. Let's take a look at this, 
Shall we? Oh, okay. This is a vintage dress I bought. Partners? Size large? No idea what that is about. But I'll get to use so many fun keywords listing this, okay? Partners. I don't know if it... I'll figure out the dating, but let's say it's like 90s. Partners, 90s, long, printed, boho, ethnic, maxi dress tiered and then this is so perfect i wish i wish i had that at the beginning of the summer the print on it like you cannot make that print up it's so good people do like a repro on that print bras 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 this is a wacol w-a-c-o-l that's an expensive bra brand i sold three bras this weekend one for $19.99 the other two for $14.99 plus $5.99 shipping for bras at the bins this is a classic J. Crew item. <laughs> I swear I didn't play on that. I was just thinking, what a classic, you know, gingham print. And then I look at the tag and it says J. Crew classic. J. Crew classic. So um, it's a size 16. So that's like an extra large. I think of 16 as extra large, and then plus size starts at like size 18. What's this? <gasps> this is gorgeous. Gorgeous. I hope, you know, I just kind of tried to trust my instincts on this. I see this thing and I'm like, that's beautiful. That is a beautiful gown, okay? And then it's Nicole Miller Collection. Now, Nicole Miller is not a brand I normally buy. I think it's sold at like Macy's. Um, I just don't go out of my way looking for Nicole Miller. Usually when a brand says collection, it's like they're higher end. Like, J. Crew Collection, Ralph Lauren Collection. This is 100% silk, size 10. It's a strapless dress, so it has all this gripping. And um, it has a built-in bra. The quality on this thing is amazing. So see this? It has a built-in bra, like a real bra. So if you're a woman who has had to wear these types of dresses, you know how valuable that is. And it's all silk, a long gown with a darker trim. Oh gosh, does somebody have somewhere to go to wear this? Because it would be extraordinary on you. Do you have a function of some sort? Could be a holiday, a benefit. It's just, it's just so, so, I don't know what the market reselling that's gonna be. I'll put it on my mannequin. Sometimes I'll take extra time with a piece like that where I'm like, I love this. I want someone to have it. I don't know normally what the, I don't know what the gown comps are like for Nicole Miller. So I'm like, I'm gonna take extra time with my photos, take a lot of really nice mannequin photos. I'm going to use as many keywords to try and get that beautiful thing sold. It's not like a, an amazing hot brand. Do you know what I mean? Love this. This is just Jones, New York. I never pick up Jones, New York, but it's 100% linen button down. And I love the style and the colors. It reminds me of a flannel, but it's linen. So I made an exception. I absolutely love it. I made an exception for it being linen. Great color, size medium. I don't know. Most of you probably would not have picked that up and I would understand, but I saw so much linen. And I'm hoping someone will see it and love it. This I got for me. Okay, here's my go back pile. Let's just take a look. Um, this I was maybe thinking for myself. Just a black t-shirt. That's Target. This brand makes good stuff. Farm Fresh Organic. But this is like a promotional t-shirt. Um, this is Torrid. It's a black blazer. It's Torrid 1, which is 1X. But it just looks to be in rough shape. And um, this is enough. Oh, they're doing a rotation. This is an athleta dress, but it's in bad shape. All right, I'm doing my sorting. I just want to show you a couple brands, things I'm passing on because of condition. But just in case you're newer and learning brands, this is standard James Purse. A two, I think, is a large in the brand. They do that vanity. They make super lightweight, basic staple high quality. This one's got like a million little holes, so I'm passing on that. And then this one, this is a kid's brand I always pick up. Hannah Anderson, that's how it started at all with me reselling. So, but these have a big hole in them. So these I'm passing on for flaws. This is a super good brand. 
cut loose. It's an expensive California catalog brand and it's like boho. So I'm hoping this looks like it's in pretty good shape. Um, so I'm just sorting and then I'm in this dilemma where the next round is at 12. Oh my God, I look like a total mess. Okay. Anyway, the next round's at 12 and I'd love to get out of there before then, but I don't think I can sort all this before the next round. So I get kind of trapped here. I have to like time it strategically. So wish me luck, my friends. All right, I have to put this back, but it's so pretty. I do really well selling linens. This is anthropology. A t like a, I don't know, dish towel, washcloth towel, but look, it's all frayed up here. It'd be worth like getting if I wanted it myself, but it doesn't really match my home decor. This I might get for myself. Love it. This I got for me. Chico's the ultimate tea. It's like a women's turquoise little tanky tank. Ooh, what's this over here? Must have fallen out of the bag. Ooh, Everlane. Everlane size small. I love selling Everlane. Helps you source as of right now when I'm filming this does have the Everlane boxes up on their site. I have on my channel unboxings from the wholesale company Helpsy Source and I bought an Everlane box. I bought a jeans one and I bought a pants one and I've made a lot of money on those boxes. Everlane is a great brand and this is like a heathered blue just comfy sweatshirt in a size small but it looks big. I don't think it's men's. I'll do a little research. I don't think it's men's. This is a free people top. We the free, another one of their many tags. We the free, I still listed as free people. A boxy crop top with a collar and with contrasting stripes. And hopefully this looks like a modern piece. Looks like no one ever wore it. Uh, here we go. Yeah, it's a newer tag. Here's the OB number. So I will put that into Google. OB blah 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 blah. And I'll get the name of this piece. And it's a pretty cool piece. All right. We're doing good. Thank you for being here so far. Okay. I bought this Banana Republic cardigan. I don't buy much Banana Republic, but I think this piece will do particularly well. Because this is a men's knit cardigan almost reminds me of a safari <laughs> men's cardigans that are like buttoned down with pockets in the fall have usually sold well for me i love the style on this one i love the knit i love the big buttons i love the pockets a guy's gonna want it this i looked up and i'm so glad i did i'm like that's one of those baby suits but I saw this branding on it over here that says, has a mounted and it says MEC. So I was like, this looks pretty good. So it's Mountain Equipment Co-op. Mountain Equipment Co-op, never heard of it. But I think you can get like 20, $25 for this little baby fleece snowsuit thing. Oh, this is for me, just, I think it is. Unless it's, oh yeah, this one's for me because I don't know what this brand is. If I pick up, 100% linen towels. I love those in the kitchen. Okay, I look. Oh gosh, I did it again. I blabbed so long that I had exceeded the amount of time. So I think I showed you this, and now I'm showing you this wool jacket. It is a bright red trench coat with a cool lining, and it's wool, and it's by Tool. And I think this is a brand that has sometimes been sold at Anthropology. We'd have to fact check that. I checked comps and this jacket sold last week for $40 plus shipping. So I would love to sell mine for $40. I think that is so, so cute. It has like a retro look. We're getting to it. This is neat. Okay, this is by Anthropology as well. It's an extra small. See the Anthropology tag. And I also wanna point out that see how this tag has little threads and stuff i'm sure you do this but i always trim this all up and when i'm steaming i'll even steam the tag down and steam down this little extra small just for my presentation to be a little better because 
that doesn't look great. This is extremely lightweight, burnout stripy top and someone might want it. <laughs> I'm gonna have clothes strewn everywhere. This is a new to me brand. I looked it up because it looked like a cool piece. Um, it's got a puff shoulder, a balloon sleeve. It just looked kind of neat. And then the tag looked interesting. I-S-A-L-I-S. -S. This tag needs to be washed. Maybe it got a little sweaty or something. Sorry, but so comps on this look to be really good in my initial research has a keyhole in the back. Okay, well, <laughs> if you've ever tried to record a YouTube video yourself, maybe you'll understand. My memory card filled up. I only had three items left to show you, a bra, some linen pants, and one other thing. So you didn't miss anything amazing, but I had to come back and tell you how much I appreciate you being here. I love making these videos with you. I love chatting in the comments. So I hope that we get to have a chance to chat in the comments. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed on the way out and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey friends and my head is cut off. What the heck? Bum, 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 bum. What do I do with my water now? There it is. Do, 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 do. I can't get comfortable though. I can't, this chair is not the best. <laughs> Anyway, he's cute. Because if you have a chest, you you know what I mean? Like the bra, if you have a chest. Oh God, why do I make videos? How, how? This